Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Eye Geeks, and we are right here at CS Unveiled. And LG has kind of surprisingly, for us at least, unveiled their new mid-range smartphones. Uh, they so there's the new Lenovo K line, which is adding to the G and so on uh, model range. And this is the K7, which is the five-inch smallest model in this case, and it's basically a very low-end phone. You end up with a WBGA. Intel Touch Display, so you have 54 by 480 uh, screen resolution. So um, in the end, you'll end up with a device where you can pretty much see the low resolution because it's a five-inch screen with this kind of low resolution. But it's still definitely a decent panel. You have good viewing angles. Brightness seems pretty much OK. Um, other than that, we have different configurations depending on where you are at. Um, in this one, there is two different CPUs, you can either get the 3G version that has 1.3 gigahertz quad core, 1.3 gigahertz always sounds like it's a MediaTek SoC, sadly it doesn't say on a spec sheet and the guys at the booth can't really tell us right now, but my guess would be MediaTek and the other model which is the LTE version which is the one that is probably going to launch in Europe and the rest of the Western markets is the Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, 210 which is the MSM 8909 at 1.1 gigahertz on the quad core SOC right there. Uh, you get otherwise pretty good specs because you have a 5 megapixel front facing camera on here, you get a 8 megapixel shooter on the back. Uh, RAM wise there's also different configurations depending on what SOC there's uh, you're getting. Uh, so the Qualcomm one probably has the eight, uh, 16 gigabytes and 1.5 gigabytes of uh, memory, and the other model has one gig of RAM and eight gigs of flash storage. Uh, Extension-wise, it doesn't look like you can uh, extend it, but let me quickly try and rip off the back for you so you can try and have a look on the inside. So there you go, up there you have it. It's one SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot in this case, so you can definitely extend it. As you can see, there's a 2125 milliamp hour battery. Up here, again, that's the 8 megapixel camera. You get this rear key setup that you know from the other uh, LG smartphones already. So you have the volume rockers right here and the power button in the middle. And yeah, that seems to be about it. Uh, Size-wise, we're talking about 8.9 millimeters in thickness, and uh, the weight should be around 140 grams, I would say. We are still running Android 5.0 one lollipop on this device, so you get the standard uh, LG UI on here. Performance seems pretty much okay, but that's probably just because the resolution isn't the highest on this device. Let's quickly check out the, uh, uh, the About phone. As you can see here, it's called the Tribute 5, which is probably because they're launching this under different names depending on the country where you're at. The model number is the LG LS675 LS points to the fact that this could probably be launching through Sprint in the US. So that's just been a very quick look at the LG uh, K7 in this case, which is the new low-end line from LG here at CES 2016. If, if you like what we do on our channel, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, and we will see you later.